The Mass is so important, is so great, that to approach it, to approach the celebration of the Mass, you need several steps, you need several preparations. The Church is very wise. She does not want to precipitate. She takes the time. She wants to be sure that the priest will be worthy of the sacrifice he performs. On the Feast of Our Lady's Purification 2019, St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary welcomed His Excellency Bishop Follet to celebrate the annual ceremonies of the taking of the cassock and the reception of the tonsure. On this joyful occasion, 24 men embraced the clerical habit and eight others were introduced into the clerical state. Additionally, Bishop Fillet conferred the minor orders of exorcist and acolyte, as well as the major order of the subdiaconate. A liturgical ceremony is always at the level of the sign, but a sign which is efficacious, that means which produces an effect. It is true that it is the bishop who cuts but the Church insists by saying it is the candidate who offers. And also for the validity of the ceremony, the candidate must say the words. Dominus, par seritatis meet calicis mei. He must say them. With this ceremony, we become a cleric. It is very interesting to know that in the and with the new code of canon law all these ceremonies no longer exist and uh, if you look at the exorcist now it is a real power a real power which is given to the candidate and it is a power over the devil a power to kick out the devil and the Church has, has this, and she wanted a special minor order to have this uh, function of kicking out the devil. It is a battle, it is a struggle. So, usually in the seminary, the exorcist does not exercise his power. It could exist, it could happen. Because sometimes we do have exorcisms and for my part I will be totally open to say some of the seminarians who have this order should be there. It's a great lesson, I can tell you, when you fight with the devil face to face, it's a great thing, it helps the faith. Now for the acolyte. It is again the same, it is another power to get very close to the altar and he is carrying the light and uh, well it means he is bringing the light of Jesus, of God, which is the grace, to the world. Now for the subdeacon, given the consecration of oneself to celibacy, to chastity him, this subdeacon will receive the power to touch whatever touches our Lord. And we see there how deep is this care of the Church, how much purity she wants to see in the heart of the candidate to the priesthood. Let's say the closer he gets to our Lord, the more the Church requests. Please join us in offering prayers of thanksgiving for the many blessings we have received from Almighty God. And let us fervently renew our constant petition for many holy priests. <laughs>